Okay, so a couple months ago, I read a book called Start With Why. Ooh. You read it. Yes. Such oh a gosh, good, I such a good it. book. I think every entrepreneur business owner has to read it. Yes. Uh, but there's a chapter where it, where it, uh, it talks about um, making your employees number one and your mm -hmm. customers number two. Mm -hmm. And if I remember correctly, and it makes it made, it made sense to me when I read it, it's because when you put your customers or your employees uh, uh, first, you are able to teach them or transfer your your passion to them. Um, in turn, they're gonna transfer that all that positive energy uh, to the customers. Mm -hmm. As opposed, if you treat your customer or if you put your cu your customers first and your employees second, mm -hmm. then you are somewhat neglecting your your employees, uh, which can lead to doing a mediocre job um, and so I kind of agree when you when you transfer that you know your passion your positive energy to your employees naturally they're gonna tend to do a great job and treat customers right mm -hmm. um, something that I thought it was pretty interesting yeah, and, and, I and think, never never thought never saw it that way yeah. really. and then to add on to that it's like you want to transfer all of your passion you want to inspire your own employees so that even if you're not the one, t you know, doing the work, the ones that are doing the work have that same passion as you. Mm -hmm. So that's when, you know, for us, you know, at first it's like you do everything, right? As a business owner, you do it all. You work all But then all you hats. have to let go of that and allow other, your employees to yeah. do that for you. And what better way to have employees that are, have your passion. And then also it's so important to um, allow individual growth, like, allow them to grow as individuals for their own careers for their own life mm -hmm. so it's like it's not only our job but it's like wow we get to help someone else grow yes. personally you know and i remember being a college student you know and where we're at now yeah. and giving them advice on like careers and school and doing yeah. that is just it's rewarding too. Yeah, at the end of the day, not only making a difference to um, the kids that we work with, uh, but also our employees. All right, so we're in downtown Boise. We're gonna do some work. It's Saturday, what time is it, like 2 p.m.? Oh, like 2 p.m. Uh, and we came to work. At a coffee shop. At a coffee shop right here on the, on the corner. We love and appreciate coffee shops so much. I know. With good internet too. They have to have this is, uh, these are go-to coffee shop when it comes to doing some work. Um, second, actually, number two, there's a coffee shop by our house, uh, just across the street, and they have good internet. Yeah, that's important, the internet. Had a pretty productive evening. Yeah. We. we yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so we have a few fairs coming up. I was just uh, gonna say that too. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I think just sitting down to talk about the plans, you know, our plans for the workshops. Not the workshops, the fairs. The fairs. So we solidified that, and we still need to put together, like in writing, you know, emails and all that. But yeah, we pretty much know what we're doing which I was feeling anxious about <laughs> yeah so we've done this uh, so there are science and engineering fairs and and so this is a great opportunity to reach out to more customers um, show parents what uh, um, the programs that we offer and what their kids will learn in every program um, so it's a plus just being out there and get more support yeah using it kind of as marketing too yeah So right now we are in Freak Alley, and what Freak Alley is is uh, it is an alley with murals, like fuel of mural. And I think they change them every six months or so. I don't remember seeing that. 
I think that one is new. You're right. Okay. Yeah. And there used to be a really cool one. Two? Oh, that one is new too. I think that one is new. It's a Saturday and this is really kind of how our day rolls. Um, when you are an entrepreneur or you own your own business, really it's up to you to make your business grow and your business will grow as much as you want it to grow. So for us on a weekend where most people are out, um, you know, just having time off and relaxing, um, our mornings start pretty early. Um, and we try to get things done at home and we come out and work. <laughs> so right now we just worked for about what, three hours? About, a, yeah, about. We worked about three hours at a coffee shop. We went through some logistics of um, some uh, engineering fairs and now we're gonna head home. We're gonna take our dogs out <laughs> and we will then eat dinner and then continue working. Um, probably until about 7.30. Yeah, maybe. around The there. latest, 7, and 8. then we'll enjoy and have uh, maybe some beer. Maybe we'll have, um, I don't know, popcorn or something. I don't know, just watch a movie and relax. Watch a movie and relax. It's, uh, it's been a long day. So, yeah, that's, that's our life. <laughs> <laughs>